In the annals of automotive history, few names shine as brightly as Kichiro Toyoda. From the workshops of a loom-making enterprise to the helm of the world's leading automobile manufacturer, Kichiro's journey is a story of innovation, determination, and visionary leadership. Born into a family whose name became synonymous with innovation in textile machinery, he ventured into uncharted territory, steering a loom business towards becoming a global automotive empire, Toyota Motor Corporation. Today, we delve into the life of the man who laid the foundation for Toyota Motor Corporation, transforming not just a company, but an entire industry. Born in 1894 in Japan, Kichiro Toyoda was immersed in an environment of creativity and invention from a young age. His father, Sakichi Toyoda, was a renowned inventor whose developments in automatic loom technology revolutionized the textile industry. Kichiro's education in mechanical engineering and his innate curiosity about machinery set him on a path that would eventually lead him beyond textiles to the burgeoning world of automobiles. Kichiro's early career, however, was deeply rooted in the family's loom business, where he played a crucial role in enhancing operational efficiencies and innovating production techniques. Yet, his vision extended far beyond the world of textiles. In the heart of Japan's industrial landscape, Kichiro Toyoda stood at a crossroads. While the Toyota Automatic Loom Works, established by his father, Sakichi Toyoda, was flourishing, Kichiro harbored a vision that stretched far beyond the textile industry. His foresight was driven by a combination of personal passion and astute observation of global trends. Kichiro saw the automobile not just as a means of transport, but as the future of mobility essential for the advancement of society. The decision to pivot into automobile manufacturing was fueled by several key factors. Firstly, Kiichiro was deeply inspired by his trips to the US and Europe, where he witnessed the booming automotive industry's impact on economies and societies. He recognized the potential for motor vehicles to transform Japan's infrastructure, economy, and the daily lives of its people. Additionally, Kichiro perceived a limit to the growth potential in the loom business. He believed that the future of the Toyota family's legacy lay in diversifying and embracing the emerging automotive sector. Furthermore, Kichiro was motivated by the challenge of making Japan independent in automobile production. At the time, Japan heavily relied on imports for its vehicles, a situation Kichiro aimed to change. He envisioned a self-sufficient Japan that could design, manufacture, and market its own cars, reducing dependence on foreign technologies and fostering national pride. This vision was met with skepticism from within his own family and the broader business community, who were wary of the risks involved in entering an entirely new industry. Undeterred, Kichiro embarked on this ambitious journey with a clear vision and a deep sense of purpose. He leveraged the profits from the loom business to fund his automotive ventures, demonstrating a remarkable commitment to his dream. This bold move laid the groundwork for what would become Toyota Motor Corporation, marking a pivotal chapter in the history of transportation. Kichiro Toyoda's transition from looms to automobiles was not just a change in business direction. It was a visionary leap towards creating a more mobile and connected world. The transition from looms to automobiles was fraught with challenges. Despite skepticism from within his own family, Kichiro was determined to make his vision a reality. In 1937, after years of research and development, Toyota Motor Corporation was born. Kichiro opted for Toyota as the company name, believing it sounded better and hoping it would bring luck to his ambitious venture. The first fruit of this labor 
was the Model AA sedan, Toyota's first passenger car, unveiled in 1936. This vehicle was a statement of Kichiro's ambition, featuring innovations tailored for affordability and reliability that catered to the Japanese market's needs. Alongside, the G1 truck marked Toyota's foray into commercial vehicles, showcasing the company's versatility in addressing both passenger and utility segments. Kichiro's leadership was soon tested by the turmoil of World War II. As the clouds of World War II gathered over Japan, Kichiro Toyota and his fledgling company faced unprecedented challenges. The war demanded a dramatic pivot in Toyota's operations, with the government directing all industries towards supporting the war effort. Kichiro, whose passion lay in producing passenger cars, found himself compelled to manufacture trucks and other military vehicles for Japan's campaign. With the onset of World War II, Toyota's focus shifted towards supporting Japan's military efforts. Kichiro led the company into producing a range of military vehicles, including trucks like the Suki Amphibious Truck. These vehicles were designed to meet the demanding conditions of war, highlighting Toyota's capacity for innovation under pressure. The production techniques refined during this period laid the groundwork for Toyota's post-war manufacturing philosophy. This period was marked by severe resource shortages, forcing Kichiro to innovate with whatever materials were available. Despite these hurdles, Kichiro's leadership during the war showcased his resilience and ingenuity. He navigated Toyota through these difficult times by focusing on efficiency and adaptability, principles that would later be central to the Toyota production system. However, the end of the war did not bring immediate relief. Japan's defeat left the country's economy in ruins, and Toyota, like many Japanese companies, teetered on the brink of collapse. The post-war period presented a host of new challenges for Kichiro and Toyota. The demand for civilian vehicles was virtually non-existent as Japan's infrastructure lay devastated. Moreover, the occupying forces imposed strict limitations on manufacturing and resources, further complicating Toyota's recovery efforts. It was during this time that Kichiro's forward-thinking and problem-solving abilities shone brightest. He spearheaded initiatives to diversify production, including ventures into the production of electric trucks and buses, demonstrating an early commitment to innovation and sustainability. However, the most significant test came in the late 1940s, when Toyota faced severe financial difficulties, exacerbated by labor disputes and a crippling strike in 1947. Kichiro's response to these challenges was decisive. He negotiated an end to the strike by taking full responsibility for the company's predicament, leading to his resignation as president. This act of leadership and accountability helped to stabilize the company, setting the stage for Toyota's remarkable recovery. Kichiro's departure from the presidency was a turning point, leading to the implementation of radical management reforms and the development of the Toyota production system, which emphasized just-in-time manufacturing and continuous improvement. Before Kichiro Toyota's death in 1952, Toyota introduced a vehicle that would foreshadow one of the company's most iconic series, the Model BJ. Launched in 1951, the Model BJ was a rugged, all-terrain vehicle initially designed for military and police use. Its robustness, reliability, and superior off-road performance quickly garnered attention, laying the groundwork for what would later evolve into the Toyota Land Cruiser. The Model BJ not only highlighted Toyota's engineering prowess, but also demonstrated Kichiro's foresight in recognizing the need for durable, versatile vehicles in post-war Japan and beyond. Kichiro Toyota passed away in 1952, 
but his vision and legacy endured through Toyota's continued innovation and expansion. From the Model AEA to the groundbreaking Model BJ, Kichiro's dream of creating vehicles that would enrich society and advance human mobility had indeed become a reality. Toyota's journey from a modest loom manufacturer to a global automotive powerhouse is a testament to Kichiro Toyota's pioneering spirit, his unwavering commitment to quality and innovation, and his profound impact on the automotive industry. Toyota's legacy is not just in the cars that bear his family's name, but in the innovative production methods he pioneered. The Toyota production system, influenced by Kichiro's early work, became a model of efficiency and quality, not only for the automobile industry, but for manufacturing worldwide. His vision and leadership helped propel Japan onto the global stage as a major automotive power. The journey of Kichiro Toyota is a narrative of overcoming adversity through innovation, leadership, and unwavering determination. His vision transformed a family loom business into Toyota Motor Corporation, a testament to the belief that challenges are stepping stones to greatness. Kichiro's life teaches us that with perseverance, even the loftiest dreams can become reality. His legacy continues to drive Toyota forward, inspiring generations to navigate the road of challenges with grace and vision. Kichiro Toyota didn't just create a company, he revolutionized an industry and in doing so, changed the world.